Hi there, my name is Axiom, and in this video we're going to be creating encounters and distributing loot using Monk's Enhanced Journal. Okay, so this is inside one of my worlds, the one shot Don't Say Vecna, and on this floor there is to be an encounter with a bone devil, and I'm going to show you how to set this up using the encounter sheet from a Monk's Enhanced Journal. So over here in the Journal Entries tab, I have what I've set up as Encounter 1. I created the sheet type and set it to Encounter. So once we're inside this sheet here, we have five different tabs. We have uh, first the description, where I put in the description of what the encounter is about. In this case, they have to fight off a bone devil to get the hand of the, uh, of the creature to be able to open the door to the level above. Under the Monsters tab, we have the monster that they will be fighting. Then under the loot section, there is what loot they will gain from the encounter. I've dragged in the items as needed. There's a DC section that I'm not using currently on this one. And then a note section that is only viewable to the GM. So once that sheet is created, I'm going to drag it out onto the map and it will give me a little sword icon. And then how this can play out in game would be when we get to this point, right hand click on the encounter and click on the fist to start the encounter. Bone Devil has been added directly to the map. We can run the combat as we normally would. Then as the combat ends, it can clear the combat tracker. And then I can say, uh, delete all of the hostile enemies that have been defeated during the combat, which I will do is defeated. I can award XP if I need to. So at this point, they've defeated the monster. I can right hand click on the encounter and then do assign items to loot entry, which will now take all of the items that were the rewards for, for killing the monster and place them into a journal entry. We've now got a new loot entry and then what I can do is then drag that onto the battlefield and update the note and then this loot entry will now be visible to my players. Now looking at this from my, one of my players views they can now move to the chest, double click on the chest and they can see the items available. The player clicks take and now we can see that there is a dialogue request that they want to take the item. Back on the GM screen, I can now see that they are asking for the item. I can hit accept and then the item will be transferred to the player. The last part of the process, the GM would be able to double click on the entry and then it would be up to me to do the distributing and splitting of the currency. So under here, I would hit the distribute option, then hit the split option here and it splits it as evenly as it can and then hit distribute. So the items in the gold are now been distributed for that for that encounter. As a bonus section here, I'm going to show you how to use a loot entry for, a, for an item that may be hidden on the map that they may they may be able to investigate to find. On this upper floor, uh, hidden under one of the pillows in this room, there is in fact the eyeball of one of the wizards. So we're going to set up a sheet for that. I'm going to go to create journal entry and under enhanced type, I'm going to again pick, pick loot, create the file. I've created this new loot entry and I've now set the configured permissions so that no one but me can see it for now. I'm going to go in here now and add the uh, eyeball item to the list with a quantity of one. Then I am going to drag the sheet out onto the onto the map and then OK them, update the map note. Then there'll be a chest icon here and then I'm just going to set this to invisible. This will only be viewable to me until such time as I need my players to find the item. So here we are from my player's point of view. I have them do an investigation check of the bed and they do discover the eyeball. I can then make sure that the permissions are changed to observer if need be. Then I can unhide the chest and then my player will be able to loot the item. And that's the basics of encounters and loot sheets. Thank you again for listening and please like and subscribe for more content.